Hi, Cancer. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your monthly lay, monthly love reading for May 2018. If you would like to get a personal reading from me, just check the description box below. All the information is below. Um, you can reach me through Instagram, Insta, Instant Go, or you can um, just click one of the PayPal links. The prices are there, and you can just directly requ request that reading. Okay, so this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, and I've already placed your cards, so we'll get started with your reading. Your past position is the Two of Wands, and Two of Wands can be about partnership, um, or waiting for results, travel planning, making a choice. So some of you may have made a choice in your recent past, um, perhaps about a family situation or a marriage or a, rela a relationship um, maybe some of you I'm sorry had to make a decision about a family reunion or reuniting with family members or a partner from that it that is in your past I feel like there was, <clears throat> excuse me, some decision that was made. Um, could have been a decision about leaving a marriage, leaving a partnership, or staying in it. And the two of wands is, is an action. You know, the fire uh, wands are action cards. So some of you may have actually went ahead and did something in your recent past about a partnership or family relationship. Could have been last month, could have been in April or any time. Your present energy is the fool. So I feel like you have fresh new hope and you have new beginnings. Some of you may have a travel opportunity coming towards you. The fool is about taking a risk or taking a chance on something. Now, I feel like this something is with the Eight of Swords in the challenge position, challenge or benefit. I feel like this something causes you to free yourself from restrictions, but it's difficult. And maybe it was something to do with a choice or decision that you made in the past about another person where you might still be feeling a bit trapped mentally or about a, about a decision that was made. I almost feel like, you, you know, you took action, but it's still affecting you. So if you had broken up with someone or someone ended a relationship with you in the past or a decision was made about that in the, in the past, it's still affecting you mentally with the eight of swords, but it's a benefit to you with the full card to take a risk to go forward anyway, to move forward anyway even if you feel a sense of restriction or a sense of isolation. I feel like it's a challenge for you to get out of that, but I see you wanting to do that. I see you taking steps to move in that direction. And what's driving you, you have the Eight of Pentacles here. So that's really putting in the work Just really doing the, you know, making the effort to perhaps heal. Even if it was, you know, like I said, if someone ended something with you or there's, you know, something to do with a family, relationship, marriage, whatever the decision that was made in the past. I see you just feeling kind of a little bit, you know, on edge because right after the Eight of Swords is the Nine of Swords. Um, 
But it's funny because you don't have the Nine of Swords here. You actually go from the Eight of Swords to the Ten of Swords. So that tells me that because that card is missing, you're not going to stay in a high anxiety state or you're not going to stress yourself out about this situation. I see you just really putting in the work and the effort to do what needs to be done for yourself, for your family, for other people in your life. You're doing what's important during this time in, in May. And the Queen of Swords here in the reverse, you're not going to deal with people who are cold or dishonest or who have no compassion or who are rigid in their thinking. And if you had been that way in the past, you're putting in the effort to not continue on in that way any longer. You know, I, I, I feel like you, you don't want to let something turn you cold. You want to stay open. Okay, and especially if this was another person who became cold or treated you cold or, or was just, you know, kind of sharp with their words. I just see you like getting yourself out of that. There may have been a situation where someone just, you know, brought you down in some ways and the Eight of Swords card kind of isolated you. But again, you're going from the Eight of Swords to the Ten of Swords. So your thought process is this is done. You know, people, you know, the Ten of Swords can be about betrayal. So you may have, you know, in your thoughts think, you know, you, you were betrayed, but this is the end of that, which is what the 10 always represents. It's like a finale. So this is like a complete and painful ending. You've hit rock bottom with the situation and you're not going to stay there. The only way out of rock bottom is up. Look, Ten of Swords again, but in reverse here to clarify. So, you know, the Ten of Swords in the reverse is also calling for you to go get some forgiveness or forgive yourself or seek forgiveness or recovery and to have a new start, okay? Um, there may be some healing that still needs to be done, and I see that you're doing that. But it's almost as if, you know, you're ready to just let something go from your past. You're ready to just be done. And you're not going to have it affect your future. You'll grieve the way you need to grieve. And you'll find your peace. And you'll take a chance to move on with your life. You'll take a risk. I see someone coming in or some types of offers of love coming for you in the near future. So sometime in May, maybe at the end of May, you have this Knight of Cups here. And that's an energy, an energy of, you know, sometimes it can be Prince Charming, <laughs> quote unquote, um, romantic love or proposal could be from a, a, another water sign. Cancer, uh, Scorpio or Pisces. Let me just clarify this Knight of Cups. Could be somebody younger. Doesn't have to be those signs, but it could be somebody who's younger, who very much admires your strength or admires your, or they're either younger or just a, a bit immature, um, but they admire your strength. They have a, uh, quite a bit of adoration for you. So perhaps it has something to do with picking yourself up off the ground and, uh, you know, standing in this place of, you know, not trying to change the past and just letting things go because you do have the strength card here. So that was this Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So th whoever this person is, is very accepting of a situation. And I feel like they are gaining a unique perspective of you. 
or they have a unique perspective of you. You know, they think that you are, well, at least they bring wisdom. This person, I feel like, is willing to sacrifice. So, you know, if there was a situation with someone that it ended, it could be that person coming back in the near future um, who has accepted, if it was you that ended a, a relationship or a situation, who's accepted this or is admiring the fact that you've just accepted it as well and you're moving on. Your advice here with the four, four of swords is really just to stay in your stay in your place stay in your quiet retreatful place in the sense that you know focus on rest you may still need that um, because this always comes after the three of swords which can be a heartbreak or divorce or loss or depression so this is a card of retreat, rest, renewal, solitude, recovery. So whatever it is that you're going through at this time, your advice is to stay with that, to not give that up, especially if it's someone from your past coming back or someone new coming in, to not sacrifice what you need to do for yourself in order to have new love. You know, you get involved with someone and then some people stop doing the things they usually do because you're spending more time with another person. No, it's, this is a card for you to keep focused on your self-love, to keep focused on your peace of mind. Now, the other person, and some of you, uh, someone left a comment on one of my readings that said, well, this is all great and true, but, you know, how come you don't flip around, flip, flip the reading around and say it's for, this is the other person. It's not me. This is the other person. This position here, I want to show you in this Celtic cross spread is your environment and what surrounds you and the other people or person in your life. Okay. So the entire reading, if, if you are not seeing or relating to the reading as it being directly tor directed towards you, then this reading is not for you, okay? Because this particular spread already has the other person. At least that's how I do my readings, okay? And you can always check your other signs to see what resonates more for you. But the other person here has the Page of Wands. So I feel like you're going to be getting some messages Um, some types of some type of messages coming through I feel like this other person or another person whoever it is if it's new love coming in for you or someone from your past although I don't have I, all I have is like the ten of cups can be about reunion but that's in the past so there's not really anything here about reuniting with anyone the Ten of Swords in reverse could be about it not ending fully, maybe because there still needs to be some healing, but accepting the fact that it's over. But there's another person here, whoever it is, I feel like there's going to be some type of messages coming. You may get, you know, an actual phone call. Anything that would require physical effort to get a message to you, you may be receiving that in May. And I feel like the message you could receive from this other person is that they're not ready for this change. Even if that was someone who made the change, um, they may be, you know, rethinking that and saying, you know, they, they're, they're fearful that you're going to be gone now for good because you may be just acting as if it's fine and you're gone. Maybe you just disappeared. I don't know your situation, but... You know, uh, I do feel like this Knight of Cups could be that person from your past coming back around. And there could be some type of message from them saying that they want to, even if you ended something with this person, whether it's a family member, friend, lover, whoever it is, 
they want to try to avert any major disasters in your relationship. They don't want it to end. Okay, but your position here in your hopes and fears is that you don't trust this person with the Seven of Swords. You're just, there's something about them that you feel that they're just the type of person who will betray you again, or they're dishonest, you know, or they, they cheat, they lie, they steal. So that could be something in relation to what you need to keep healing about. If there's a trust issue here, if this person, if you ended it because of some type of betrayal or some sort, and they're coming back, you're not ready to trust them just yet. You fear that. And if you're fearing that, that means you're not ready. And you don't have to be ready. You can be ready when you're ready. And if this person truly wants to come back into your life, then they'll make all the necessary moves to try to regain your trust again. But you have to give them time to prove that to you. And if you are, you can't, you know, I don't feel like you're ready to just take someone back just because they they apologize or they fear losing you. I feel like for you, and I almost feel like you had this reading before, similar. I feel like for you, you're going to need to, you're just going to kind of fall back and wait to see what they do to prove themselves. And, you know, you may even exchange a message with them by telling them, well, yeah, you're great, love you, but you've done some things that make me feel uncomfortable and you're not ready. Your outcome card is the wheel of fortune with strength. So the tides are going to turn for you. You're taking care of yourself will induce more strength within you because I feel like during this time this is what you need right now you don't necessarily need to reconcile with someone you don't necessarily need to um, you know fix this because I feel like you've been hurt you have two two ten of swords cards here <laughs> together so there's some deep pain and things that have affected you mentally so your strength and getting yourself balanced and moving forward in your life seems to be the most important thing for you at this time. You have the three of wands in the reverse. So, you know, that can be, you know, plans falling apart. There's like a new, you know, there's a new, the tide is turning here. And whatever things that, whatever you've been waiting for, you're no longer waiting. You're just moving on. Wheels keep a rolling. That's what you're doing. Because it's giving you power and strength. You know, there... The three of wands in reverse can be about, you know, um, some delays. You know, so you could have, um, you could be, I feel like you're delaying, perhaps returning with this person because you're still trying to get in your power and in your strength. You're still moving forward. Um, so you may put this person you know, on the back burner, you may tell them, you know, what I said earlier, that you need to, you need to stay in your power, you need to keep getting stronger. Um, you need to keep working on yourself with the eight of pentacles here. Again, you need to heal. That's basically what it is. So th the month of May is definitely in the position of your advice is to keep on doing just that to keep on healing, to being at peace, to getting rest, to so that you can think clearly, so that you can have a new beginning in love again, because um, that's what you want. Whether it's with this person or someone new coming in, you are needing to take this time out for yourself, maybe just put off dating for a while, or um, put off trying to resume relationships from the past that you needed to end or someone ended so that you can get your your healing work done and 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 moving on and I see it going into June as well you know so 
those were your messages, Cancer. I hope that I was able to help you in some way. And please remember, this is a very general reading. And uh, some of the messages may or may not resonate for you. So if you would like to get a personal reading from me, of course, just click some of the links in the box below. And I'll be more than happy to oblige. Okay, take care.